So if you live in a place that has chickadees, then you're probably already familiar with a particular call that they have, which is their name saying call, the chickadee dee dee call. What you might not realize is that this call actually means something in the language of chickadees that can actually be really useful for us when we're out in the forest. And the reason is that this chickadee dee dee call in many cases is used as an alarm call in response to predators, things like owls and hawks and cats and uh, you know any sort of threat that's gonna be in the forest to a chickadee. Uh, they very often will make this call. So the real question is how do you actually tell uh, when it is an alarm versus when are they making it, uh, you know, for all the other little chickadee things that they do because this, this call is not always an alarm. And if you go out into the forest with the idea that, oh, I just have to listen for this chickadee dee dee call and then that's gonna be an alarm, it does not work that way. And so what, what we have to remember is that chickadees will sometimes make the exact same call in, in different contexts. And so we have to really listen closer and we have to listen into the call to find some sort of meaningful information that can help us discern what is the actual situation that's playing out? What are the chickadees actually communicating with this call? So there, there are two sort of ways that you can kind of tell what the chickadees are actually saying with this call. The first is, is by listening to, there's a particular tone of voice and um, th this is a little bit hard to put into words, but there's, there's just, if you spend enough time listening to chickadees making these calls, there's a tone of voice, kind of like how you can tell when someone's angry versus when somebody's relaxed. You can tell the same sort of thing by listening to a chickadee's voice. The other way and the real trick to understanding um, and getting into, getting your ear to get into the chickadee calls at a deeper level is to actually count the D's. And if you pay attention to the calls that these chickadees make, you'll notice sometimes they'll go chickadee dee dee and there'll be, that's three D's. Uh, other times they'll, they'll make a lot more of them. So you'll hear the chickadee make the call and it'll go chickadee dee 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 and it'll go on for a lot longer. And if you count those number of D's, that actually relates to the intensity of the situation that the chickadees are, are talking about. And there was even a study that was published a, a, quite a while ago now um, where they, they had chickadees and they introduced predators, different types of predators to the environment of the chickadees. And they counted the number of Ds that the chickadees were making in response to the predators. And they found that there was this relationship between different intensities of threat or different types of threat actually elicited different numbers of D calls. And so I'm all about finding these magical little ways to um, get into nature and get our senses deeper into nature so we can just have a better experience out there and, and really have these magical moments in nature. So counting the Ds in the chickadee DD call is truly one of the, you know, the low hanging fruits of bird language. And it's just one of those things that it's so simple to go outside and find some chickadees. And if you live in a place that has chickadees, they're, they're just so common, you know, they're everywhere, even all the way through winter. That's one of the things that I really like about this is I can, I can use this technique even in the middle of winter where, it, you know, it's super snowy and cold and freezing outside right now. Um, but I can still go out and I can use these chickadees and I can find an owl. And um, that is just something super magical, um, just a really fun experience. So the really important thing with all this is practice and um, actually going out and not just having this as something that you, you, know, you think about intellectually, but something that you can actually apply in the field. And, and so all you really have to do is go outside, go into the forest, find some chickadees, and listen to their calls. Listen to the, the calls that they're making. And when you hear that chickadee dee dee name saying call, just count the Ds and, um, and, and just notice that sometimes there are a lot of Ds 
and other times there are not very many of them. Sometimes um, another thing to pay attention to is how many birds are actually making the call. So there's a difference between when you hear one chickadee making a chickadee dee dee call and um, when you hear, you know, say three or four chickadees all making that chickadee dee dee call. And so the more that you listen to this and just get out and spend some time really connecting with the chickadees, the more you're going to start to hear differences. And eventually you're going to go out there and you're going to hear these calls and there's just going to be something about it. There's going to be a lot of D's in it. Um, there's going to be multiple birds involved and you're going to walk over and you're going to see that there's like an owl in the tree there or a hawk um, or, or uh, they'll also do it a lot when there's, you know, house cats moving along through the forest. And so um, you can actually start to use this to track animals in the forest. And that is a very cool experience. So get outside listen to those chickadees and uh, if you want to learn more about chickadee language this is actually just one small part of chickadee language and i have a whole article that looks at more aspects of the chickadee language that you can learn to tune into and so if you want to learn more about that i will put a link in the description below this video it's been a while since i've published videos and so i wanted to just start off with something uh, really cool and exciting and actionable that you can get out and apply in the field starting today. You know, chickadees are one of the most common birds in North America, um, especially if you live in a place that has a really distinct um, dormant season in winter. Sometimes the chickadees are, you know, one of the only songbirds that are actually around all year long. And so if you have ways of connecting with the birds all year long and actually getting information about things that are happening at a distance in the forest that just goes such a long way to improving our connection with the land and um, being able to understand the land at that integrated level where we can we can see the relationship between the birds and the animals and the ecological context that they live in it means that you can go out and you can have deeper experiences in nature, um, which I think is something that everybody can really benefit from. So as always, have fun with this and let me know what other topics you would be interested in learning about and I will see you in the next video.